Welcome back to another detailing video. Today I have a Audi A6. Um, this guy is actually coming out of town. He's actually out of Indi coming out of Indiana. So honestly, I'm a little nervous about this car. He wants a full polish, full detail. Um, and this is somebody that I don't know, but I guess somebody recommended me. So that's a good thing. Um, but anyways, this, like I said, it's a black Audi. And I've heard so many things about Audis. I heard that the clear coat's really hard to work on when it comes to polishing and paint correcting and removing stuff. So I really don't know how to go about this because uh, I got um, I got McGuire's uh, Ultimate Compound and Polish, and I also got uh, I have a uh, what's the other one? Manzerna three in one. I don't know which step I'm gonna take with this car. Manzerna has worked for me basically on every car that I've polished. So I think I'm gonna go with Manzerna three in one again. Um, we're gonna see what kind of results I can get. Honestly, the client's not really worried about the whole paint and removing all the scratches in the car. Some of them are very deep, so I'm just gonna focus on enhancing the paint of the car, bringing it back to life, basically making it look brand new. I think um, Manzern is gonna do a good job when it comes to that, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna go with. This process is probably gonna take me every bit of three to four hours. Like I said, I'm gonna tell you guys the process. I can't, I'm sorry I cannot show you guys the whole process because I just don't have the time um, right now. But I'm, uh, just bear with me, the video's gonna get better um, over time. But anyway, so we're gonna wash it. Once again, decontaminate the paint. We're gonna iron remove. We're gonna clay bar it. Uh, and then we're gonna wash it again. And then we're gonna pull it in the garage really quick. That way we can dry it, me and my nephew. And then, I'm gonna get to the uh, polishing while my nephew focuses on the interior. My nephew's only 17 and I'm teaching him every little bit that I know every day. I'm letting him uh, learn more every day as I go. Normally he would just do the wheels and the windows and maybe the door jams. Now I'm letting him uh, get more comfortable with other interior uh, parts such as seats and uh, you know dash and all that stuff. Uh, he's a big help right now honestly because that's the only person that I really have right now. Um, that helps me after work, so I'm trying to teach him as much as I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Once again, I want to apologize because I cannot film the whole process of me detailing. I wish I could and I will. Like I said, one day I'm going to have somebody come record the whole process. That way you guys can get a good idea and see what I do. Because right now I just can't, but I want to make that clear. Not because I don't want to or because I'm hiding something. It's not that. It's because I honestly don't have the time. I can't be doing everything at once. I have to focus on the car itself this person was coming out of town so obviously getting the car done and making it look nice was the goal here if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so because like i said i'm gonna be putting more content um honestly quite often because i detail just about every day so if you guys like my content or if you want, want more of my content you guys you guys can suggest things that you want me to do in this channel that way i can please you guys as well um like I said, one more time, I'm not a professional. I only try my best. I don't have the best of the best tools and equipment and products. I do have very professional products that you know are very well known in the detailing um, business, detailing industry, whatever you want to call it. Um, honestly, let me make one thing clear. It's not honestly on the products that you use. It's how you use it and how you prepare the car before the polish and the wax. You can, do, you can have the best of the best, but if you're not following the right process of getting the car cleaned up before you actually apply the compounds on the paint and all that good stuff, trust me, you're not gonna get nowhere. I've learned, I already know this because I used to detail. When I first started, I wouldn't, I would never clay boy, I would never iron remove, I would never wash two or three times. So I'm just, you know, that, that was, when I was learning, I would do a very basic and then the results kind of spoke for themselves, so now, I think the results are speaking for themselves and they and they look better just because I, I you know I learned more as I went. Yeah, I think my results are looking better now because I have more experience. I've been doing this for seven months now. Oh well, actually for ten months almost. And um, polishing though, I've only been doing it for not so long. I've only been able, I've only polished three cars that are not mine, that don't belong to my family. So I've only polished three of my clients' car. That's it, I haven't polished nothing else. So I'm getting more comfortable with the whole process, the pads, the polish, the compound, um, the polish, the movement on the machine, on the polisher, it's, it's a learning process. You have to be patient 
And I'm um, just taking it day by day, learning as much as I can. Um, leave your comments down below. If you saw me do something wrong, let me know. I'm not going to get offended. I only want to learn more, expand my knowledge. So if you guys have any info for me, let me know. I'm not going to get offended. I'm going to actually appreciate the help that you guys are, um, the tips that you guys are giving me. All right, let's see what we got today. Deep scratches right here. Lots of bug and tar. Not too bad right here. Side that's not polished yet, side that we polished already. Can you tell the big difference right here? Color. Alright. Alright. Let me show you guys. That's the coal night. That's the wax on it that hasn't been removed. Check the side that's been removed. Now look, let me show you guys the difference when it's finished, when it's not finished. Or are you done with this side? Yeah, look at this one now. Oh. Black. All that haze. Oh, perfect example right here. I see all that. Now look. Just look at that. Huge difference. All right. End result.